Welcome back. Infrastructure being created for fast approaching Lusophonia games will also be used for national games to be held in the state in the near future. As per the CM, infrastructure of Lusophonia games will take care of 75% of the national game work. Infrastructure is being built at University Complex, Bambolim, Pere and Fatorda for the upcoming Lusophonia games. Chief Minister Manor Parikar clarified on the cost of building the infrastructure. 285 crores is uh, expenditure for this uh, capital expenditure for various infrastructure. There are about 15, 20 uh, spots which are being developed. And these are for national game also. national game is actually. So national game is 75 to 80 percent of the requirement is being complied with. Fatorda Stadium will host the opening and closing ceremonies. Expenditure for this has been brought down from the estimated 30 crore rupees. Opening and closing ceremony is 30 crore rupees. 30 crore rupees is the capex. The cap is the Without knowing what will be the response, what will be the actual expense. We ourselves decided that nothing doing, nothing can be more than 30 crore. But uh, I realize that it is more around, it will be more around 15 crore. This is my estimate from whatever I had a preliminary discussion. Since the commitment to host the Lusophonia Games by the past government falls in the international zone, Parikar is fulfilling the promise. Sovereign guarantees or sovereign commitment has to be fulfilled. So I am fulfilling a sovereign commitment without any emotional attachment to it. As far as I am concerned, as national game is emotionally attached to me, I am completing infrastructure and spending some 50, 70, maybe 70 crores, maybe 80 crores, out of which about 50 crores will be what we will use in uh, national game again. 30 crores, 35, 40 crores will go away in the expenditure, but tourism will get a boost. A senior reporter, Laukik Shilkar and video journalist, Devendra Gaukar. Savio Messias is contemplating resigning from the post of Vice Chairman of All India Football Federation's Technical Committee. The AIFF is taking crucial decisions like altering the format of I-League and changing the pattern of the Federation Cup without giving the Technical Committee time to check its feasibility. As such, Messias is disappointed with the AIFF attitude of keeping the Technical Committee only on paper. Well, when, when we accepted the post of Vice Chairman Technical Committee, I had a discussion with Bai Chung Gutia and we both insisted that in, we either we call for meetings and we are active, otherwise we should not be in the committee. Now till date the committee has not met and I'm giving, the, I'm giving them a few more months and I think if, if nothing happens, it, I would might as well resign because many people ask me this question, are you in the technical committee and are you responsible for such decisions and I tell them we have never been called for a meeting. If you have missed our bulletin, log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at Pruden Goa. Meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. With this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent. Goodbye. You are watching Prudent.